this app component. So what I do is, I'll just delete this content. I just place some static content. So welcome to Angular components. Now what is our requirement? We want to create multiple components. We want to create multiple components. All right, so now let's do this. What is the command we use to create a component, guys? Ng generate C. Ng generate component. Let's call it as employee list. I'll create multiple components. Component name is employee list. Yes, this is the component name. Okay. Here it means why it's asking some way, sir, no angular routing like that. It's, uh... Angular routing, you will understand yeah, in our own classes. When we, uh, 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 like when we enter the command now, so when just say like that, there are no options we are asking now. Why we want to choose, you know, what happening when we click as. That's what I'm telling. So, about routing, right? And which styling you want to use. They are customizations. So, Based on your requirement, you select that. So based on what you select, project gets customized accordingly. So those routing, the styling part, as I said, we will be discussing in our upcoming classes. Okay, so that we want to do like some kind of customized, so then, then we want to go click as like a routing. Like. Yes, yes. Now, let's say employee. ng g c demo we have created three different components now if you go here you will get three different folders demo employee employee list all will be created inside app which is inside src if you want to change this, yes, when you are creating the component uh, by passing some additional parameters, the path can be customized. But we usually keep most of things inside app folder. So now if you open any of this, same, as I said, every component is made up of four files. So you will have all those four files in every component folder, in every component folder. So that is a mandatory for four files, no? Every in the component. Every component will have all these files. It's not mandatory. I, I may not want any CSS files, then I can go ahead and delete what? CSS. If you don't want any test to be there, you can go ahead and delete what? Tests. If you don't want to have the HTML separately, I have shown you, right? You can provide the template, the miss template and pass the HTML content here itself. Then you can go ahead and delete that. It's not mandatory. Okay, for example, if we, uh, in the demo component CSS, if we deleted CSS, so the program will execute it. Huh? All right, so now let me just do it for employee list. And in employee this, I'll do this. Right, and what I want to do is I want to call employee list component from which component? App, App component. So, how do we do that? You pass the selector. Selector. App employee list. Just save this content. All right, now you should run this application. So, and G so. And uh, when we want to execute the program, only we need to go to the command only. Here the terminal option is there, no? So uh, by going that terminal option, it will not execute it, huh? It will execute. You can do both. It's uh, your preference. Both right? are same. So, both are same. So I prefer doing it from the command prompt. So I go and do that. Some people prefer doing it from here. 
So you can go here. Right? Local. It's uh, not working this terminal. That's why. You can do that. You can run the same command from here also. Your terminal, you should select, right, which script you would like to use, right? So, and then run that. So it's up to you, your preference, right? So it's not that you cannot run it from here. You can do that from here. Maybe some problem may be there in your system when you are installing Visual Studio Code. That is a reason. Otherwise, your commands can be executed from here as well. Achha, okay. All right. So now if we go here, reload this page. You see, welcome to Angular Components. Employee list works. I deleted CSFL. As I said, it's not mandatory. If you don't want, you can go ahead and delete. Is that clear, guys? Now, here. But, uh, uh, one more doubt. Uh, let, uh, let me, let me, let me continue, sir. I'll give you time to answer those questions. Okay. All right. Now, we can call employee component. All right. Now, what I do? I go to employee list component. I go to employee list component. And in this employee list component, I will call demo component. I call demo component. So now if you save these changes, if you go here, you see, you have employee list, employee works, and demo works. Sorry, I should not do this in employee component. My intention was do that in which component? Employee list. You can do it anywhere, it's not mandatory. So I just want to do it in employee list component. So save these changes. If you go here, the other changes. Employee list works, inside that you get demo works and other one is employee works. I may want to keep some styling here. So what I do as div style equals to border 3px solid red. Now, if you observe that, so this is part of employee list component. This is part of employee component. All these are part of which component? App component. So if we go back to our diagram, if we go back to our diagram from here, so what you can identify, this is which component? App component. And app component has how many parent components? Many employee things. list component. Another one is employee component. Employee list, another one is employee. Now, in the employee list, again, I'm calling a component called as which component? Demo component. And most important thing is, most important thing is, that's the reason why we prefer making them as components. One component can be referred from multiple components. It's not that if demo component is made as like is used in employee list component, you cannot use that in employee component. No, guys. We want to go for maximum reusability. Right? So now if I go back to here, I can do this. Style equals to border or px solid and let's blue and the solid maybe let me make it as dotted so this now you see you get the output Right. So as I was mentioning, you can have a component that can be used by multiple components. Then in this context, demo is used as a child component of employee list and demo is also used as child component of which one? 
employee. A reusability. So you create components so that you can reuse them wherever you need. Is this clear, guys? Yes, Ricardo. How about others, guys? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir, you were asking a question, right? So, you can ask the question now. Yeah, like uh, when we create a component, so at the default, we can get four files like uh, component CS, component HTML, component spec.ts, and uh, component ts. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, uh, I have used only component ts file. I didn't mm -hmm. use spec HTML CSS. So mm -hmm. then, can I remove a three files? Any dependency occur if you if you only single dot ts file available? Then must also be HTML files. It's also mandatory. Or else I wanted to remove all the three files. Only I want to mention component dot ts file only. So is it fine? Or else if you can express exception thing. I deleted CSS file, right? Similarly, you create, delete HTML, you delete spec.ts. It's up to you. Uh -huh. You create a folder and you create only TS file and use the TS file as your component. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not a monitor for HTML, those things like. Just to show you that as example only, I deleted CSS, but mm -hmm. nothing is mandatory. And even HTML, I have explained you, right? You, if you use template, you no need to refer it as template URL. And you can go ahead and delete that HTML. They are not mandatory. Is this clear, guys? Yes. Any confusion, guys? Any cl clarification needed? All right. In, in, if that is clear, then we will take a break for five minutes. It's a small break. Right? We will gather by 10.20. All right. Second, if 